compute the sum of the series n going from 1 to infinity 3 over 5 to the n times x minus 4 to the nth power. This is just a different way of asking to find the function f of x for whom this is the Taylor series. So if we plug in n equals 1 we would have 3 fifths times x minus 4 plus 3 over 5 squared times x minus 4 quantity squared plus 3 over 5 cubed times x minus 4 to the third and so on down the line. So what function has this Taylor series? It might be useful to start off with the function 1 over 1 minus x because that's a Taylor series who has only powers instead of factorials in it and this appears to have only powers too. So we'll start off with this guy right here. 1 over 1 minus x is equal to 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed plus x to the fourth and so on down the line. Now notice that each one of the terms in our unknown function f's Taylor series involves an x minus 4 divided by 5 being raised to powers. So let's take our x and replace it by x minus 4 divided by 5. So 1 over 1 minus x minus 4 divided by 5 is going to be 1 plus this expression x minus 4 divided by 5 plus this expression squared which is x minus 4 divided by 5 plus this expression cubed which is x minus 4 divided by 5 and on down the line here's the fourth uh, that power to the fourth x minus 4 divided by 5 now let's clean this thing up here a little bit. Over on the left we have 1 over 1 minus x minus 4 divided by 5. And on the right hand side we have 1 plus 1 over 5 times x minus 4, separating the variables from the constants. 1 over 5 squared times x minus 4 quantity squared, plus 1 over 5 cubed times x minus 4 uh, cubed, plus 1 over 5 to the fourth times x minus 4 to the fourth power. Now this is pretty close to the series we had originally, except that uh, the original one had a 3 and an x minus 4 in the numerator, or in the first term. So let's multiply everything through by 3 over x minus 4 and see what we get right here. So if we multiply through, we're going to have 3 times x minus 4 to the fifth power plus 3 over 5 squared. We have a 3 and a 5, x minus 4 squared plus 3 over 5 times 5 squared, or 5 cubed, x minus 4 cubed plus one over, or 3 over 5 to the 4th power times x minus 4 to the 4th, plus all the way down the line. So if we take 3x minus 4 divided by 5 times 1 minus x minus 4 divided by 5, this function right here has exactly the same Taylor series as it was before. We just manipulated 1 over 1 minus x until we got this series right here. Let's at least clean up that function on the left hand side to make it more legible. Our f of x is equal to 3 times x minus 4 up top. On the bottom we have 5 times 1 minus the quantity x minus 4 over 5. If we distribute that 5 in we could get rid of these fractions here. And so we would have uh, 3 times x minus 4 on the top still. And on the bottom we would have 5 minus the quantity x minus 4. And so if we clean that up we have 3 times x minus 4 on the top. And on the bottom we have uh, 5 minus minus 4 times uh, plus negative x, or negative x plus 9. And so there's our function who has the given Taylor series, the sum of our series.